Councilman Ken Johnson arrested this morning and appeared in federal court this afternoon. Good evening, I'm Rob Powers. And I'm Courtney Guzman. A federal grand jury handed a 15-count indictment that alleges Johnson and two other men conspired to commit federal program fraud. We have live team coverage tonight of what that means and how Johnson's constituents feel about this arrest. We started all with Five on Your Side investigator Scott Knoll, who spoke with the U.S. Attorney about this case. Scott. Now, this is that 15 count indictment against Johnson and two associates. Together, they're accused in two different schemes that investigators say put more than $170,000 into accounts controlled by the councilman. Today's indictment's the result of a federal investigation that lasted more than two years into a scheme that prosecutors say spanned more than eight years involving Ward 4 Cleveland City Councilman Kenneth Johnson. These individuals represented uh, that there was work being done. And then when the money was paid to them for the work that they were alleged to have been uh, performing on behalf of Ward 4, uh, the money would then be diverted again to accounts controlled by Mr. Johnson. In the first case, investigators say Johnson and his longtime council assistant Garnell Jamison combined to submit fraudulent monthly city council expense reports. Prosecutors say for more than eight years, Johnson submitted reports showing a city recreation employee performed work in the ward backed up by fake timesheets. In reality, investigators say that employee, Robert Fitzpatrick, only worked six weeks. Fitzpatrick pleaded guilty earlier this month to conspiracy to commit federal program theft. But investigators say Johnson didn't stop there. That the 74-year-old also worked with the former executive director of the Buckeye Shaker Square Development Corporation, John Hopkins, to again create fraudulent timesheets that led to $50,000 in payments to Johnson's family members or court-appointed guardians of the councilmen. Once again, prosecutors say the money ended up in accounts controlled by Johnson and not to improve the neighborhoods he represents. Those in Ward 4 lost the benefit of, of these federal program proceeds that were designed and specifically intended to improve that community. Investigators say Johnson and Jameson also falsified the councilman's tax returns, falsified a document, and tampered with a witness in the case. Prosecutors wouldn't say if their investigation is over or if more indictments could be coming, but hope today's indictments send a clear, simple message to public officials. We are not going to turn a blind eye and let public money uh, or those in the public become victims to uh, alleged, in this case, greed or fraud of their elected officials. All three men pleaded not guilty to these charges. Today, a judge set their bonds at $20,000 each. Reporting live downtown, I'm Five on Your Side investigator Scott Knoll.